Welcome to part 3 of the Contact 3 video tutorials. Contact 3 features a wide range of new effects that extend its already remarkable sonic arsenal. In this tutorial, we will take a look at these new effects and how they can enhance the sound of any instrument. Contact 3 performs signal processing through the use of effect modules. The entire module library is available via the Modules tab in the browser. Contact's module library ranges from conventional DSP effects to filters to more advanced modules such as LFOs and custom envelopes as we'll see in a later video. When trying to decide if a particular effect module is appropriate for your needs, simply click on the module in question and a summary of its features will then be automatically displayed in the info pane below. This is a great interactive way to learn about the many powerful modules that Contact 3 has to offer. Let's take a look at one of Contact 3's new effects, the Screamer module. The Screamer models the type of distortion created by an overdrive guitar pedal. When added to this dry guitar sound, it will definitely liven things up. You can even run the signal from the Screamer distortion pedal into the Twang Amp, an amplifier model that produces a classic rich tube sound. Let's round off this guitar signal chain by adding in an actual guitar cabinet as well. As you might have guessed, the signal runs from left to right. So by positioning the order of the modules, you can change the order of processing. For a little depth, let's add the new rotator module to the end of our signal chain. This gives the classic rotating Leslie cabinet effect. The great thing about signal processing in contact is that you are in control of the signal flow itself. We saw a moment ago how you can choose the order of the effects in a serial chain, but you can also choose to affect only one group of samples, or the entire instrument, and either as a send or an insert. You can also call up effects in the contact mixer if you want to route several completely different instruments through the same effect. Thank you for spending a little time with Contact 3's effects. This should give you an idea of the creative effect possibilities that lie within Contact, but this only scratches the surface. Check out the next video if you'd like to see how things like effect parameters can be controlled in real time.